Good morning. I'm TJ Parker. I'm joined now with uh, reporter Abby Anstead, and we're talking about our story this morning on NKU's new Health Innovation Center, which is basically uh, a new building on campus that is bringing the different uh, aspects of health uh, students together in hopes of um, kind of teaching them about the opioid epidemic. Uh, Abby is the one that kind of uh, spearheaded this story. Talk about this. You're an NKU grad. You yeah. learned about this. Uh, when you were with the Northerner, the student newspaper. Uh, talk about your, uh, how you learned about this. Yeah, so I, I'm a proud NKU alum, uh, Norse up. But uh, <laughs> I, so this story has kind of been years in the making in a way because I covered the Health Innovation Center when they broke ground on it in 2015. Um, so I knew that this was going to be a really cutting edge facility. Um, and I just thought recently here, I know they're wrapping up construction and it just kind of dawned on me, I'm sure that there are initiatives, you know, to prepare graduates to deal with the opioid crisis. I mean, there can't not be. So that's where we kind of pulled in administrators and talked to them about, you know, some of the programs and degrees and certificates that they're offering. And that's how the story kind of came to fruition. Yeah, and this is really addressing not only the opioid epidemic, but just um, population health in general, right? Right, yeah. But one of the biggest population health issues, and I know we covered this in our story, is you know, the opioid crisis. And a lot of what they're doing, you know, it's not just degrees and programs, but they're implementing courses that help students better understand you know addiction and people who suffer from that because if you don't understand that you are not going to be able to go forward and you know serve the community yeah and that's the interesting thing I thought about when doing this story with you is you know we do so many stories uh, with law enforcement first right. responders on how they're trying to tackle this problem but we've never seen it from an education standpoint and how uh, universities are a part of this and trying to teach the future health care workers of our region to handle this? What's the most interesting part for you, do you think? Right, I think one of the most interesting parts um, of this story was, you know, the ESPERT program that they're going to implement in nursing and social work classes because that teaches students, you know, how to assess people's lifestyles, how to gauge um, whether or not people are likely to become addicted to substances. And, you know, prevention is really key in this, in this crisis, so that was interesting to me. Sure, and we also spoke with a recent graduate who is going to be yeah. starting a job at Children's. She talks about how she's going to use her training uh, in her job. Yeah. What did you learn from her? Yeah, I think um, in talking to Emily, it was, it was interesting to me that she had never experienced substance abuse. A lot of people in the region have been personally affected by addiction. Um, so I think somebody who is going into healthcare who had never experienced this, I mean, Emily would not have training, you know, had she not had the ESPERT program at NKU. So that was really special to yeah, me. Definitely. Okay, you can read the rest of Abby's story on WCPO.com. But for now, we'll set it back to you.